Hey guys, good morning. <laughs> Hope you all enjoyed my last video. It was fun going to the cars and coffee. It was cold. It's kind of warmed up. I went out today, this morning with my jacket on. I just came out here. It is beautiful out here. But, um, <clears throat> you know, fall is here, so it's going to start getting cold. One of the things that I hate doing is, because um, I got all these trees, as you can imagine, all the leaves that we get here. So, uh, you know, like most people, you get the blower, and I don't even know if it's that much more work to just rake the thit dog on things than it does use the blower. The blowers usually suck, but I got frustrated one year, and I bought this old Husqvarna. Thought I would show it off. Oh, hello, Mr. Grasshopper. I bought a backpack uh, Husqvarna blower, and I think they make a couple different models. This is the uh, 150BT. Now, I haven't used this thing in a while. <laughs> Probably about a year now, and I'm going to see how good it starts. And uh, if I remember how to use it, there's a primer bulb under here somewhere. <clears throat> but uh, let me get it started and uh, get back in just a sec. All right, so it took about three pulls. It wasn't that bad. I'll let it warm up for a minute. And uh, I gotta get all those leaves and crap out of, out of here. I'm not gonna do the whole yard. I just wanna clean the walkway. If I don't clean it, you get in and out of the car and the house, it just tracks in with you, so. Let me see how good this thing works. It's really comfortable though. And the other thing is, you know, the one that, the leaf blowers that you hold, you're kinda leaning forward, not all that comfortable. This one being on your back, it help, actually helps support your back. So uh, let me put it on, I'll get back to you in a sec. Do my throttle here. It's not even that loud actually. I think it said something about seven, uh, I forget how many decibels it is, but not that loud. So let's see how good it works. A little breezy out today. So let's see how this thing works. knows it's real easy to to blow leaves off of a smooth surface so I'll just show you real quick let me get this first I got some stuff on the roof there I can't really get with this blower. This should make it so that nozzle at the tip, uh, the end, you can slide this in and out and adjust it like a jet, you know? But, uh... blowing right now 
I mowed the other day. Um, I get some of these leaves off the deck. But I got two of these houses and a lot of land. I own a lot of that land down there. I was gonna put a third house over there, but. I like the way I can blow off the cobwebs though. See there's all those leaves up on the I don't know if I can get those. I have to stand back pretty far. Let's see if I can do it from here. I can't hold this thing up high enough. So I'll probably have to get a rake. <clears throat> anyway. So I just want to show you this thing. It's pretty cool. I don't even know what this... Oh, that's a lock to throttle. This is the on-off right here. It's pretty comfortable. But, um... Uh, anyway. So I kind of recommend this leaf blower. I think it was about... I think it was about 275 bucks, maybe. But, um, the little leaf blowers, you'd be out there all freaking day with the thing, man, chasing a leaf. Couldn't stand it. So, I didn't mention that I use the premix stuff. It's a 50 to 1 ratio on these uh, Husqvarna's. Be a little bit more uh, eco friendly. Um, I like it though because it doesn't get stale. You don't have to put the the stable in there and all that stuff. And I've had issues with trying to mix my own fuel. And having problems with stuff getting started so i just and I, plus i don't use it that much so i just buy that stuff out of the can and they give you a longer warranty when you use it anyway i also got a husvana chainsaw and that's pretty cool and i got a uh, weed whacker as well and uh fortunately with the storms we had i didn't need to use the chainsaw although i do have to cut some trees down over at my mother-in-law's house so. a lot of times though i use the attachment that goes on the weed whacker and I use that so it's like a pole saw and uh, it's a little better than the chainsaw. I'll use the chainsaw when I get the big branches cut down and I might use a handheld chainsaw for the rest. Anyway, um, catch you a little later. Thanks for watching.